Hello, these are three bundles I'm sampling from a vendor and I also got a frontal. This is just a regular black spandex cap and I usually don't like these but since it's getting cold I was just like what the heck. So I didn't show y'all but in the front it should be an M like both sides should be further down and the middle should just be a little lower um, a little higher than the sides and the back should be flat very as flat as possible so when I'm threading I threading when I'm sewing it I usually when I start off I just go in between like go all the way through first and then from the knot just make the needle go in between I hope you can understand what I'm saying but if not just watch I'm kind of showing you and then as you're going just go like you can see it right there go in between to make all the um to make the top just all in that straight line how you see it and I would say it doesn't matter if you go overhanded or underhanded just make sure you try to stay consistent and that goes with um like the spacing you do in between it and how you put your bundles just make sure everything is consistent if you watch I really wasn't consistent with the threading a tip I would say is definitely get um get new get new needles because this needle I've been using I've been using it for a while and it's gotten dull which you will you might see sometimes it's just hard to put through the wefts because it's not as sharp so you really have to jam it and you don't have to do that because that just wastes time it takes forever and it hurts your fingers so yeah just watch I pretty much showed you everything I colored it um also to this blue color you probably see and i will put in the description box like if you just want to skip to that part to see my process on that down below so yeah i will see you later Bye.
So I just wanted to say when I got to this part, I did start cutting it and I kind of spaced it a little more because I wanted the top to be as flat as possible and I got a big head, you know, so. Uh, but yeah, just start cutting it here so it won't be bulky because if you flip it over and you don't actually make sure it's as flat as possible, it will be bulky, just to tell you.
So here it's just done. It's not plucked yet. I plucked off camera. That's uh, Pulp Riot's Pulp Purple Shampoo. So I could get all that yellow out. So when I add the blue, it wouldn't be like a greenish tint to it. Um, so I got Jade and Sky Blue. Jade is going to be the all over color. I just dipped the whole wig in. And Sky Blue is going to be the bottom color. I Here I'm just testing it out to see what I wanted and that's what I decided on. And you'll see why. So I did use boiling water and I let it cool off a little bit sometimes just because I was burning my fingers you will see I was like ha 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 but um, I used the that yellow gotta be glue free spray twice and I just blow dried it to make sure it was all the way dry before I started the process to make sure it didn't do anything to my lace by heard from other youtubers that it really for blonde hair really doesn't um just tint the lace or anything so uh, it may not i didn't want to take no risk so yeah and you'll see i used both of the bottles of jade just to really get it uh pigmented and uh, for the sky blue i used one and a half bottles so whenever you might can just go back and touch up the ends if you want. Okay, so I'm back and I just wanted to show y'all because I said in my last video I'll show y'all, but this is beauty. She's so beautiful and she's so sweet. Like, I love her. I really do. <laughs> but yeah, she's like one. And she follows me everywhere. I love it. But this is my wig. And I just. I love this too. Um, try to show y'all the back. Uh, pull the bit back down for y'all, but there we go. So, yes. Um, tell me if you like this video or dislike it in the comments and why like if you dislike it why so i know for my next video what not to do or what to keep doing i um in my opinion i really like this i've been 
wanting to do this color for a while and it came out literally amazing y'all i like oh i am in love but um there's really not much to say it's really nighttime right now and i guess i'm about to just go take all this stuff off so have a great blessed day see you in my next video